Hello dear friends, good uh, morning or almost lunch time and uh, I am a little bit hungry and uh, do not want to eat too much other things so I am going to make uh, chocolate uh, anyway eat it or not is not important I want to make chocolate uh, chocolate uh, mousse use uh, black chocolate chocolat noir and i started with a fire strong now it's time to turn it uh, slow and uh, this chocolate is uh, 52% 52% is good enough you do not need to put any uh, other things you do not need to put uh, sugar and uh, cream just like that break it you can I'm pretty sure you can find the chocolate in your local market I'm not um, selling for any of these brand but uh, from what I have seen I have seen in Trader Joe I have never used the Trader Joe but uh, the, I, they should have some decent chocolate it's from Belgium and some some other brand so if you do not have exactly the same chocolate as this one it does not matter you will always find good chocolate and uh, there are chocolate lovers all over the world so it's you do not have to go to a particular place for chocolate and this one is uh, seven uh, 52 percent chocolate and i will use chocolate and um, cream only nothing else and this video i will not only cooking but also answer some questions one friend asked about tea, it starts to melt. One friend asked about chocolate ganache. Ganache or chocolat. Ganache is a French word and it's, uh, um, it's a cream, a uh, chocolate cream, and you can use it for filling or wiping. It's a chocolate cream with uh, um, creme chocolat à la, à la ch chocolat <coughs> au chocolat et à la creme fraîche. So it's, I remember when I was cooking, when I took cooking class in Paris. Oh, this is so easy to use. Use this, uh, this um, blender, this uh, Frappe, this this flapper. It's uh, so easy. Gosh, so 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 easy. So uh, I remember I cooked chocolate and cooked the cream. First I put butter, a little bit of butter. I forgot butter or not. Cream and then chocolate until it is totally. Uh, smooth and uh, like this glittery because this is pure chocolate so it's not so smooth shiny like um, like the one from um, from uh, uh, whisk cream if you put cream in it will be even more shiny it's like a mirror glittery mirror so this chocolate is tempered so the process of melting chocolate is called tempering it so it becomes such a smooth and when it is getting cold it will become hard and um, you can use it to wrap the um, wrap on top of uh, cakes or wrap over fruit so that it will keep longer shelf life. Anyway, so the chocolate is good. We can cool it down a little bit. Not too much, not too much. I have some 
cold water. This one is water from making um, from making um, from making yogurt. So now I will do the cream. Here we have uh, uh, we have 200 gram of the chocolate so I will use around 300 gram of cream if it is 300 gram of cream and uh, and the uh, bijong the relative weight of uh, unit weight of cream is one to one I think one cubic centimeter or one mil is one gram so 300 mil will be 300 gram and um, let's see the weight of this chocolate this one is 205 205 gram of chocolate so we will use 300 nothing more than 400 okay 350 is nothing wrong but if you put too much there will be too much cream flavor and it lost the, the rich chocolate dark chocolate um, the richness of chocolate and it's loose it's flavor it's not uh, not what we want 300 gram is around here that's a big amount I think we are good at 300 nothing more than 300 250 to 300 okay 300 400 okay we make it 300 mil now we will blend it and put the chocolate aside we will start to blend it there is a little bit of chocolate on the on the blender it's okay oh, oh. I'm sorry there will be noisy okay ready set go two minutes nothing more than two minutes let's start to count it we started from not expensive one and uh, but it's quite useful I do not want to buy another one okay I will talk about this later when we do the wetting in rolling of the cup so we are almost there Okay, there is a critical point of it, and uh, sorry, 
this is what um, a professional patissier yeah, will do. They will never eat it. I went to a cooking class, Le Cordon Bleu, and uh, <clears throat> the the teacher, the the patisserie, the teacher, he will never eat the the food. He will not uh, clean the the palate or something with his uh, tongue or, or eat it. He said. I, this is my job. If I keep doing that, I will become so cold. And he was like fashion model, yeah. So you can see, this is the critical point. Make sure it does not turn, it does not drip, and do not beat it too much. When you beat it too much, I do not know the reason of it, scientific reason for myself, but uh, from my experience, it becomes very hard and uh, too much air and just uh, it damage the texture of the of the cream it's not good okay another friend said there's nothing to say hello hello our little juju we have things to say hello i need to cool it down a little bit further I am in that water, not totally cold. Yeah, it starts to good. I think it's good. Otherwise, it will become hard. And when it is becoming hard, it is not good. Okay, so <clears throat> we will start putting the cream spoon by spoon. One friend asked why not you uh, you beat the cream together with the chocolate. I have never thought about it and um, and uh, from my thought it should not work because chocolate need to be hot and the cream anyway beating cream you need the cream really uh, really light with no, without any foreign things. The cream as cold as possible. This is what I have learned. Not sure if I'm doing it right. But I definitely enjoy doing it. The, the bowl is a little bit small, it's not so easy to do. Next time I will use the medium one. So it does not take so long time. And um, I have friends as uh, t telling me, advising me that I'm spending too much time talking, and uh, and these are useless time. It is true. And if you want to take some cooking class or searching YouTube for something more educational, please do not use my channel. Please do not use my channel because I have. Uh, I'm 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 just uh, just I I am not uh, um, pre-recording. I am not. Uh, um, I do not pre-recording. I do not. The, the cream seems a little bit too much. I do not plan it, and uh, it goes all as it goes. Seems the cream is a little bit too much. It's. Uh, Cross our finger and just hope that it will be good. Yeah. 
yeah it's very well blended for now up to now now we will put into little bowls and uh, <coughs> do not put too much in one bowl because because you will end up eating too much at one shot so I have seven bowls that's good use more bowls so that you can you can eat it more times and each time with uh, with reasonable amount otherwise you will end gosh I used to be always fail and now there is almost no way to fail that's same as yogurt I used to fail all the time and now it's hard to fail because once you know how to do it you know how to do it look at this cream it's so good so now we put into our bowls i have two more different kind of bowls this is fresh yogurt bowl and this is try to clean up your as it goes it's good to have vacation but to do not uh, do not make your vacation totally yes uh, I think seven should be sufficient Use another bowl or another spoon. This is not useful at this time. Put it aside. Too many tools will. Too many chef will make. Will spoil the soup, and too many tools will spoil the chocolate cream. Chocolate. Oh, that's too much. That is a little bit too much. Gosh, today seems a lot. Today seems a lot. Even seven seems not enough. Very good, very good. Oh, oh, that's not good, but it's okay. Another spoon pot, I think, because I promised myself not to make too much at one shot. So I will keep my promise. Too much at one shot is not good. 
it's not good for yourself it's not good for your house it's not good for your palate and there's one day we went to we went to um, a fast food we were craving for fast food and we ordered something we always wanted to have that's french fries because we never had chance to eat french fries and we ordered and they give us extra I don't know, maybe we ordered wrong or they give us wrong, they give us extra. We were so happy at the beginning and then there were too much. We end up not appreciating as if as we had it less. So when you want to appreciate something, make sure you do not over, um, you, you do not have it more than what you need. Or more than what you want the best way to destroy one good thing is to is to have much too of it it is a philosophical uh, talk I think it is so this is a philosophical um, um, philosophical um, I mean a philosophical um, um, mousse au chocolat, chocolate mousse. Okay, I am not professional chef. I do not get to cook this every day, so I can do the leaking part. Okay, now cover it. This piece of paper. So I don't think you will want to see. You want to see how I do this. Uh, I wish you a happy every day and enjoy your vacation. Bye bye, Fulan. This is the most clumsy part, and I do not want to show you exactly. Oh no. Okay, in the refrigerator for two hours or three hours, it will be good. And when you eat it, it will be hot, just out of the refrigerator. Leave it outside for five minutes, ten minutes, and it becomes smooth. If it is already hot, one hour, two hours, it becomes too soft and uh, it loses its texture. It's not good. It needs to be... A little bit a la dente. See you later, alligator. Bye bye, friends.